Hello viewers, in this module we are going to discuss what are the solutions for exercise 4. So what is our question is, so here, which congruency criterion do you use in the following? So in this following, which congruency criterion will be used? So what is the given is, so given AC will be equal to, AC will be equal to TF and AB is equal to DE and BC will be equal to EF, BC will be equal to EF. So they are telling that all the sides are equal and triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. So all sides they are given. So for that, so here, like this they are telling. So all corresponding parts are equal to each other. Then by SSS congruency criterion this by using that criterion it's a congruency type next question given zx will be equal to rp this signs given next rq will be equal to zy so that two angles two sides they are given angle p or q angle p or q will call to angle x y z so here we are started at one side and between one angle is there another it's going third side second side we are also started at side and angle and this so based on that what you can say is yes angle s yes, congruency criterion so yes is yes, congruency criterion by that the two triangles are congruent to each other next one so here angle l M L N M L N is congruent to angle F G H. So the two triangles are congruent to each other. Then again N M L N M L. This angle will be equal to angle G F H. The two angles are M and F, and L and G are congruent to each other. Then angle L M N L M N. ML and FG are equal then by which means first angle side angle angle side angle A yes A congruency criterion by that the three angles are three two triangles are congruent to each other then our next question fourth one is here given so here what is that is Fourth question is just given E B E B will be equal to B D E B will be equal to B D then A E will be equal to B C then angle A is equals to angle C is equals to 90 degrees then by which congruency type it in theory right angle given and one side right angle hypotenuse side so right angle hypotenuse side congruency criterion so right angle 90 degree should be there hypotenuse should be equal then any one side should be equal so right angle hypotenuse side congruency type next question you want to show that a r t p e n two triangles are congruent to each other then what is our question is if you have to use SSS criterion then you need to show that a r will be equal to so first how we'll go is first two letters and next two in the first two letters in the next triangle so a r is e equal to p e then r t here r t second and third here also second and third we have to e n e n next a t first and last and here also first and last or you can show from here also what is that is a r will be equal to p e r t will be equal to e n a t will be equal to e n like that also if you if it is given that angle g will be equal to angle n angle g will be equal to angle n and you are to use yes a yes criterion you need to have that r t will be equal to e n then p n will be equal to at so like that it will be 
so rt will be equal to s a s s a s so rt will be equal to en then pn will be equal to at next if it is given that at will be equal to pn and you are use asc criterion you need to have so asa means angles and side angle so here this angle and this angle this angle and this angle so what you can write is angle a should be equal to angle p then angle t will should be equal to angle n then angle side angle angle side angle will be equal next so next third question is you have to show you have to show that a m p a m q are congruent to each other then here steps are p m will be equal to m q m that are equal so reason is they are given that two lines here no for that given that they only given next angle p m a angle q m a are equal they are given angles are equal why because two lines two lines are given next a m will be equal to m a am will be equal to this is a common side so this is common side for both the triangles next angle triangle am so here side angle side what you can write is sa is congruency type so sa is congruency type for that it is next fourth one in triangle abc in triangle ABC, angle A is equals to 30 degree, angle B is equals to 40 degrees, and angle C will be equal to 110 degree. In triangle PQR, angle P, angle Q, 30 and 40 degrees, angle R is equals to 110 degrees. A student says that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR by AAA congruency criterion. Is he justified? Why or why not? He is not justified because not satisfied because there is no there is no rule of aaa congruency criterion there is no rule of aaa congruency criterion next one in the figure the two triangles are congruent the corresponding parts are marked we can write angle or at let's take angle or at will be for that or here down w is there so for that or right w for a two lines it is there so here o at o two lines is there angle o and t will be for three it is there and n one r a t is one w o n so like that we have to write so our next one is our next complete the congruency statement so here a b c and a b t they are given triangle a b c is congruent to a b c so here a b c and what you can write is a b t triangle a b t why because at a it is a right angle here also right angle then a b is a common for both and t here it's going in the direction of this direction and it should go in the direction of r so like that by which criterion or right angle hypotenuse side or you can say that angle side side a s s a congruency criterion whatever it is next angle q or s triangle q or s q or s so q r s so it will be q r means single one and it's going in the second one and it's coming like this q r is first and second is going so it should be come like this so triangle t p q triangle t p q is a congruent triangle next one in a squared sheet draw two triangles of equal area such that the triangles are congruent the triangles are not congruent what you can say about their parameters what do you say about parameters so draw any two triangles these are congruent 
so a b c d e f in congruent triangles perimeters are same the triangles are not congruent parameters are same what do you say about congruent means uh, let's take draw uh, 5 5 mm, here 6 7 8 9 so let's take uh, or not congruent means parameters are different parameters may be different Perimeters are different for not congruent triangles. Next, so perimeter sometimes we can be angles and non congruent means that's it. Next one in triangle ABC, triangle PQR are to be congruent. Name one additional pair of corresponding parts. What criteria did you use? So, here let's take pure angle angle. Uh, P uh, right angle hypotenuse side or hs so here angle b is equals to 90 and angle q is equals to 90 angle c is equals to angle r then what you can write is so what you can write is so here uh, angle b we could equal to angle q angle c will be equal to angle r then this hypotenuse the corresponding parts so here BC will be equal to RQ. Then, oh, SA is by using ASA congruency type. ASA angle side angle hypotenuse will be. So, what they have to be congruent means act to be congruent. Name of one additional. So, here uh, hypotenuses are equal. Then, AC will be equal to PR. PR. So, hypotenuses are equal. Sides one, one angle, one side will be equal, means then it will be equal right angle hypotenuse side or otherwise A is the congruency term. Then, explain why triangle ABC is congruent to triangle FED. ABC and FED. So, here ABC. So, here angle B will be equal to angle E then angle A will be equal to angle F so here angle A will be equal to angle F and D will be equal to BC so D will be equal to BC by or HS why because hypotenuse will be equal to, and what you can write is AAS congruency rule AAS congruency time it will be equal so thanks for watching this video